Overcast recently got a huge update, so today we're going to take a look at Overcast 3.0, the best podcast app for iOS. This is Overcast. It's available for all iOS devices, Apple Watch, and there's a web version. If you're looking for a Mac app, learn how to make one by clicking the card above. After installing the app, creating a sync account, and subscribing to a few podcasts, the app will look like this. At the top are the settings, currently downloading, add new playlist, and add new podcast cards. Below these will be your playlists, your podcasts, and your played podcasts. As you may have noticed, Overcast 3.0 introduced the card metaphor, much like Apple Music's Now Playing screen. Speaking of Now Playing, let's look at Overcast's player. To start a podcast, find a show and then add an episode. Tap the episode, tap play, then the player card will slide up from the bottom. Here the scrubber is at the top, the artwork is in the middle, and the main controls are at the bottom. The seek forward and back buttons are customizable within the settings. Swipe on the artwork to the left to reveal the chapters and notes, and swipe on the art to the right to access the effects. Here you can enable smart speed, which removes silences from what you're listening to. I've saved over 155 hours with this feature. Next, voice boost, which levels out the audio, and in the middle is the speed slider. Underneath these is the toggle for making the effects you set the preset for the podcast you're listening to. Finally, at the bottom, you can set a sleep timer. To collapse the player, swipe down with one finger anywhere or tap the chevron in the upper left hand corner. After tapping on an episode, you can share it, recommend it by tapping the star, which we'll get to later, add it to a playlist or the queue, or delete it. We've been doing all of this in the podcast screen. It has your downloaded episodes in the first tab, the entire feed of that podcast in the second tab, and the podcast specific settings in the third tab. Here you can choose how many episodes of the show to keep if you frequently fall behind so you don't end up with more podcasts than you can listen to. And you can choose if you want to receive notifications when the podcast releases new episodes. These notifications are interactive and let you see the description of the episode, play it, add it to your queue, or delete it from the app if you're not interested. Also, while we're on the subject of interactive notifications, Overcast now has a widget which lets you see what's currently playing and what two shows are playing next with the play pause button. And if your phone has 3D touch, Overcast has that too. If you're like me, you probably don't want to choose a new podcast episode to listen to every time the one you're hearing finishes. So that's where playlists come in. You can create two types of playlists, regular and smart. Regular lets you add specific episodes manually, and smart automatically adds episodes after you select which shows go into them. So we'll choose smart playlists. First, select the shows you want to include. Second, select your priority podcasts. These are podcasts you want added to the top of the playlist every time they release an episode. Finally, select any episodes that you want to exclude. At the top, choose how you want to sort the playlist, give it a name, then swipe down from the top to reveal your newly created playlist. You can rearrange episodes by dragging them on the right and to start playing a podcast, tap the episode, then tap play. When this episode finishes, the one directly underneath it in the playlist will play. If you're looking for a new podcast to listen to, Overcast has you covered. Tap the plus icon in the upper right hand corner, and if you connected your Twitter account when you signed up, you'll see recommendations from people you follow on Twitter who also use Overcast. To recommend a podcast yourself, tap the star in a podcast episode's description. Underneath the recommendations are the bundles. These are collections of podcasts in certain categories like comedy, news, arts, etc. At the bottom are collections. These are collections of podcasts from podcast providers like Relay FM, Radiotopia, Gimlet, and so on. If you tap on a collection, there's a button at the top that subscribes you to all of the shows from that provider. If you already subscribe to a show, you'll see a gray dot next to the title. If a podcast you're looking for isn't in a bundle, you can also search for it as normal by scrolling to the top or just paste in the podcast's RSS feed. Overcast also has a dark mode, streaming features, CarPlay support, customizable sync buttons, file uploads for premium subscribers, and more. One feature I would like to see added is the ability to sort playlists by length. If you're looking for more info about Overcast 3.0, you can read the developer's blog post by clicking the link in the description. 
Overcast is available for all iOS devices, is free, and is ad supported. You can remove ads for a yearly payment of $9.99 and by doing so, unlock a few more features. Links to download are in the description below or tap the card above. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. To see more app videos, tap the card above or the link below and you'll hear my voice next week on Friday. Thanks.